Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm fully aware that this series came out back in July. I watched it then. But as I've seen that MTV is signing up for season two of Tana Turns... Well, what's it going to be? Just Tana Mojo's show? Tana Turns 22? Whatever. Whatever the case may be, MTV are signing up for another series. So I thought... It'll be a fun and fresh idea to go back throughout the first series and point out all the little things wrong with it because I'm nice like that. It's constructive criticism, okay? Something I want all of you to bear in mind whilst watching this video is that MTV did Tana Mojo so dirty. They did not portray her in a positive light at all. And yet she's willingly gone back to sign up for another season with them. So... There could be two reasons behind this. Either Tana doesn't realise just how badly she was portrayed in this series, or it's all fake. All of it. Completely fake. Staged. Scripted. Let me know in the comments below which you think it is by the end of this video. By the way, as most of you know, I am actually subscribed to Tana Mojo and I do enjoy watching her content, surprisingly. So, though I'm criticising her and this show, it's not coming from a place of hatred, it's coming from a place of, hey, I kind of like you and I want you to be the best you can be. Hashtag inspirational. Hashtag stop doing drugs. And I actually watched this series when it came out the first time. So, for this comprehensive review, I'm going to watch all of it again. You're welcome. You can thank me for my service. My PayPal link is in the description box below. But before we get into that, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. Worried about Article 13 when it comes into action or want to use Netflix in a country where it's blocked? Well, then just download and use NordVPN. NordVPN has over 5,500 servers in 60 different countries and even works in China. It doesn't log your data, there's 24-7 customer support, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. There's double data encryption for increased anonymity, and it protects your data while you're out in public or even travelling. And if you sign up now using my special referral link using code Elise, you get up to 70% off of your subscription fee, and it comes out to $3.49 per month. So check out NordVPN today and make sure to use code Elise. You even get one month free. Did I mention that? You get a month free if you use my code. So check out my code. I'll link it down below in the description box and pin the top comment. Now, let's get on with today's video. This potentially could be really long. The first episode is called Tana Gets Back With Her Cheating Ex and it's only 15 minutes long. It's essentially a glorified vlog with some graphics put on it. I'm Tana. I'm definitely a little scandalous. I feel like I'm gonna take a sh on the bed. <laughs> I feel like the outcast of YouTube, the wild child, the bad one, but I feel like I do know what my demographic wants. I've already made it very clear I have a soft spot for Tana, but it makes me roll my eyes whenever I hear an influencer with millions of followers be all I'm the outcast or I wasn't that popular. I'm looking at you, Tana, and I'm looking at you, Shane Dawson. There is no need for it. You're not an outcast if you literally have millions of people watching the stuff you put out and supporting you. You don't get to play the whole, oh, I'm unpopular card. Like, you just don't. Am I, am I being crazy here? Am I being unreasonable? I just don't feel like it's a valid thing to say. And I think <laughs> this isn't about Shane Dawson. This video isn't about Shane Dawson. But one of my complaints about Shane Dawson is... I get the vibe he's trying to pull the whole, well, I wasn't that popular at school. It doesn't fucking matter. You're like 30-something. School was so many years ago. If it's still a hang-up, get a therapist, because now you have millions of people loving and supporting you. What more affirmation do you need in life? <sighs> anyway, back to this show. The TanaCon situation was a lot for her to go through, for sure. I've never seen her so upset about something for so long. We had no idea that it was going to turn out the way that it did. And when everything happened... So they're discussing Tanacon in this bit, but that clip of her crying is actually from her breakup video with her ex-boyfriend. I know about this because I watch her content. I have done more research for this, than, for reviewing this show than MTV actually did for the show. After TanaCon, I was scared to let new people in, and then I kind of jumped the gun. I do love how they blurred out Poundland Bieber's face, though. I rushed into a relationship, and then a couple weeks ago, I was blindsided by finding out 
that he was cheating on me with like 20 girls. How does someone even find the time? I can barely find the time to reply to a single person on Tinder and yet this guy was living with their significant other and still found the time to be able to message 20 other girls. Tina, this cup is for normal sized people. This little clip right here is why it's all fake. End of video. Look at Jordan's chest. He's wearing Janna merch. And I'm a giant. He's wearing Janna merch. Enough said, end of video. I don't need to go on. I will, but I don't need to. I feel like I'm actually going a little crazy because I'm not having like sex, which is kind of weird, you know? But I, I just don't like function properly. Ready to meet though, ready to work, totally right. here. Ready to work, ready for a meeting, but let's talk about my sex life first. Who are you? Tana Mojo or Carrie Bradshaw? And as we were about to enter World War Three, I couldn't help but wonder, was it time to start on World War Me? I didn't think I could take a photo in a thong that easily. I was like really nervous. It was not gonna be that easy. I mean, that's not an easy thing to do, to take a photo in a thong. That's actually, most people would find that hard probably. Jordan can be funny sometimes. Tana is the best and worst client that I have all at the same time. A lot of times I feel like I'm her parental figure. Do you want to talk about business though? Seriously, let's get into a couple things that we can actually get rhythm, in rhythm on. I came in here to talk about business. And sex, apparently. So recently I've been going wholesale shopping for some of the pieces of my clothing line and I've picked out a bunch of them and now I need to narrow it down to ones I would actually want to sell. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. This was done back in July and it's now February 2020. Did Tana Mojo do a clothing line? Did, was that a thing that actually happened? Did that transpire? How did that fall under my radar? How could it? I know literally everything. I'm the Stephen Fry of YouTube. How did something fly under my radar? Tana is over dramatic, and I don't really know what's going to happen. She might kill his family, contact the Pope, get like an airstrike to happen on his house. It could be bad. Some positive criticism. Is it criticism if it's positive? A positive note, Imari, is very good at this type of thing. He's really, really funny. I reckon he'll be very good on an MTV show. Honestly, anything that like literally lingers and like makes you think of him, like you should absolutely get rid of. Cause like, why would you even want to like think? I Someone ban Ashley from saying like, please. What are you gonna burn? Last night I went through my whole like weird like hoarding like closet and like okay. got rid of so much <laughs> that I was like, ew. Seriously, this is an addiction. Seek help. I mean, yeah, I'm always the person who's late. I know I'm 20 minutes late, but you're an hour late. The tables have turned and I am just <laughs> off to it. Maybe I'm just a boomer, but if this is called MTV No Filter, why do they censor out words or phrases or terms such as jacking off? So edgy. <laughs> they won't say a non-swear word. I think it's really dope. I think the Instagram photos in it could be really dope. I just feel like people wouldn't buy that. Wow, Haley just snapped with honesty. Haley immediately gets fired and is found down Sunset Boulevard begging for a job. These, I think, are next drop. This is more everyday, like, more normal girl clothing, but this is more of, like, this pilgrim. I don't understand. Was this a thing? Did Tana sell clothes on something other than Depop? I don't get it. Someone let me know in the comments below. In order oh to just really tie God. everything together, we're gonna burn something that brings both you and I a lot of emotional... <laughs> It's so pretty. Uh, then they all burn shit and it's very scripted. The end. That's the end of episode one. Let's go on to episode two. Now this episode is very important because it marks the point in which this show went from Tana Turns 21 into the Jake Paul show, which Tana Mojo also stars in. So is anyone gonna wash their hands since we're like baking, you know, wanna be clean? Yeah. Actually, I just got a manicure. So it starts with three adults talking about not washing their hands before baking cupcakes because bad hygiene is so relatable, am I right? Also, Tana is going to Atlanta for some sort of freestyle rap thing. And my girl are gonna go to Atlanta. Take pics, Photoshop me in. <laughs> Second of all. <laughs> Why don't you take Jake? I feel like you guys are so like newlyweds right now. So like, why don't you take him with you? So acted. Stop. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. What are you guys doing? Baking? Hi. Oh, wow. Mm. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> then Jake comes in and MTV calls him a controversial YouTuber. As if the titular character of this show is all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> Who's a very uncontroversial person? As if the titular character is Jenna fucking Marbles. I've seen him at a nightclub, but I haven't really seen Tana and Jake 
interact other than behind a camera. Actually forgetting this entire thing is being filmed by MTV. So you guys exactly could definitely that. like do this like a little faster. Why do all these people like say like every other like word like? This following conversation is so fucking stupid. I like lost brain cells listening to it. I'm a little nauseous. I don't know if it's from the coffee or the new baby. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, you need to take Blend B. Yeah, the but if, if I got, got in on Monday. What's today? Friday. Ashley! You are nah. Again, here's the thing. Either they all are genuinely stupid, which I don't think is the case, and MTV thinks it's a good idea to showcase and promote people being stupid with something like contraception, or they are pretending to be fucking stupid and MTV thinks it's a good idea to promote and showcase people being irresponsible with their contraception. Neither of these options makes anyone seem like a good person in this particular scenario. I didn't feel like I like felt the grab. How do you well, think it works? I just feel like there's different levels of like getting <laughs> inside of. Okay, I, don't know I think you that's feel incorrect. Like, no, 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 no. I feel like it can definitely go in like different areas or like levels of or like how much there is that day. Sometimes you feel it more than others. You feel me? No. Just in case this needs to be made clear to anyone watching. When, why why is this turning into a sex education talk? When did I get so fucking responsible? I swear I say that in every single video on this channel, but I'm sick of it. Why can't I be a responsible? <laughs> why did I become such an adult? There is even active sperm in pre-cum. You know when the tip of a man's bell end gets a little bit jizzy just before they shoot their load? Given a sex education talk and <laughs> I'm being really fucking immature. What am I doing? What am I fucking doing? If it's jizzy, and all wet on the head. There is active sperm in that, and if that gets inside a woman, it's unlikely, but it can still get someone pregnant. So, wrap it up, or use your contraception properly. Don't, like, rely on plan B five days after the fact. This is incredibly irresponsible by, you know, Ashley, obviously, because it's her life, but also MTV for showing this. Like, ha ha ha, look at these, no, no. All right, well, let's think about topics that are funny then. What are topics that you can talk about that would not be embarrassing towards yourself? I mean, I don't well, think you should degrade yourself. I don't yourself. think I'm talking about me. I think I'm roasting someone else. Jordan, I don't, I'm so confused right now that this actually just made me wanna like cry because you're not explaining anything. I'm hoping someone else is gonna like come in and like explain it actually. I Stop looking at me like that. You're such a condescending asshole. I'm like just I'm saying, stressed out. The temperature out. in the room just dropped by 20 degrees. You're just pissing me off right now. And then it's just Tana being rude to Jordan for no reason whatsoever, as usual. Oh no. She is constantly thinking of, is this gonna be another scandal? How would failing a rap battle be a scandal? It's hardly cheating on your wife or recalling makeup for containing asbestos. Tana, if you don't get your goddamn... No. Wow, your ass is actually very supple. I wish my ass looked a little more like that. Hey, hey, okay, oh, hey, 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 stay in your life, stay oh, you in started your up, you started up, you're the guest. Justina, if you don't get your goddamn wait, your hair is actually so much more vibrant. <laughs> you actually just did it hey, hey, So on this video, there's actually comments down below being like, oh my god, it's so sweet. Justina saw that Tana was nervous, so you know she turned it into a nice thing. But it's so scripted. Oh my god, guys, come on, it's so scripted. Can you not see how fake it is? This is this is why it's irresponsible to have people being like, tee hee, I just take loads of plan B five days after the fact, or the morning after pill for like my UK viewers. Hi, I'm a Brit too. If there's people who can't see how scripted that bit was, then it just, it's irresponsible to kind of promote fucking around with contraception. Am I being too much of an adult here or does anyone else feel that way? She didn't really do anything. <laughs> Then Jordan and Ashley complained about Jake and it's probably scripted, but it's boring, so whatever. I'm not gonna lie to you, sometimes he makes me feel like I'm more of a sociopath. And just the way he like processes his emotions, I feel like is more normal than me. And then there are moments though too where I- So in this scene, Ashley and Tana are talking about Jake and Ashley's incredulous face sums up my feeling to the entire season. We are like actually person to person, yeah. taking things slow. Taking things slow then marries him a month later. I mean, I know it's all fake, but can we not have a bit of consistency? So that was over and it was kind of boring, so now it's time for episode three. And they've increased the episode time by a whopping two minutes. Oh! You're like, it's like scalding. Oh my God, oh. We can I come and coordinate like the pink in my shorts and the pink in your shorts? Oh. Tana and Imari are having a bath for some reason. 
Is this meant to be like the no filter part of this no filter show? Whoa, how crazy and wacky. Tana Mojo's taking a bath. Take that, haters. See, she does wash. I've been spending so much of my time with Jake lately, but I don't know where this will be in six months time. So where will be in six months time? Divorced. So like, dude, I actually need you to meet my side hoe later. I want to face him. Really? Yeah. Tana has a side hoe because she's not exclusive with Jake yet in their totally, totally real relationship. Yo, that's, that's my side hoe. I'm psychic. Okay, fine. I'll show you the scar after. I feel like I should ignore him. Okay. Just to assert my power. Ooh. Yeah, we'll silence it though. It's definitely weird for someone with a boyfriend to have a side hoe. I know for a fact that if I was in a relationship and I had a side hoe, my boyfriend would be f pissed. Tanner's relationship with Jake is more for clout. Like this isn't a real relationship in my eyes. There you have it folks. See, prove my point. Show's over. So in all seriousness, what are you even getting pierced? Like tell me the truth. I'm getting my nipple pierced. Nah. <laughs> Jordan is like Tana's constantly disappointed father. Hey, <laughs> Tana, I'm going to VidCon. What? So you're invited back? Uh, technically, I'm not invited. I'm just going as a manager, like with my other clients. That's invited. invited. She's so overdramatic. Imagine caring about having your manager have jobs other than you to look after and consider. Poor Jordan. Let's start a hashtag for Jordan. Hashtag save Jordan Morona. VidCon is a social media convention that is probably the biggest in the industry. Two years ago, I was on a, a show that was airing there with a bunch of other creators in VidCon and put my face on giant billboards and buildings everywhere. I really, really wanted to go. Tana puts on this deep voice when she's pretending to be serious and profound and meaningful over something. So Tana's gonna get her nipple pierced and I'm, why am I cupping my boob? Like, you guys don't know what a nipple is. She's getting her nipple pierced. She's like, can we not get videos demonetized? She's getting her nipple pierced and they arrive at the piercing salon, the piercers, and this piercer in question has the patience of a saint. The Pope should give him a raise. Just watch some of these clips of Tana screaming into the void. I'm freaking out. Don't. No one understands. Remember, I understand. I've pierced each one of my nipples four times. I but completely understand. But your nipples understand. aren't sensitive. Actually, men's nipples are about 12 times more sensitive. I'm feeling so scared right now. Ah, I just feel like this is real. I'm freaking You're out. Fine. I'm literally freaking out. I'm literally freaking out. No! No! You don't understand. Like, what the fuck? I'm embarrassed, and this show happened seven months ago. And I'm secondhand embarrassed for her. God. Big deep wow, breath, all the way in, off. all the way up. Ow, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Ow, oh my God. It's oh almost here, God. it's crowded, it's crowded. Oh it's crowded. If I was that piercer, I honestly would have kicked her out whilst the needle was halfway through her tit still. Oh my God, ow. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe you. Let's go on the presupposition that this is totally real and not, you know, hammed up for the camera. You can tell that she has never matured properly because a 20 year old should not be acting that way in public. So Jake's obviously like the one like holding the interest here. No, no, and not even that. It's, it's that like I'm closer to Jake and he like knew I was getting in. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But you are going to show your side to at some point? Maybe. I haven't done anything like with the side. Well, with the side, yeah. how you want to like wait? No, but oh my god, these are like deep questions. Yeah, deep questions. Really up there with the meaning of life, isn't it? Also, there's some subplot that Jake and Tana aren't sleeping together. I have no real thoughts on that because I, I don't care. Then there's this other bit where VidCon invites Tana to be a featured creator and she pretends to cry. Uh, the message of TanaCon was received. I knew this was really important to Tana and to her career, and I, I knew the opportunity to go back to VidCon. It's just an opportunity that I, we couldn't miss. So I put the time in and, and we got it done. I want to throw up. So Jordan is the one that sorted this out for Tana, and he's like a parental figure, a brother, and a manager all rolled into one. And spoiler alert, he's still going to get treated like shit by Tana. She never even said thank you 
to Jordan. I mean, she might have done off, she probably did off camera. I guess this is what I mean by MTV did her dirty because I'm just gonna assume, I'm gonna be positive and assume that she thanked him off camera. But it's something that should have been shown on camera because then it makes her not seem like a spoiled fucking brat. And if she didn't say thank you, well, let's do a petition for Jordan to be my manager because as I'm British, I damn know what manners are. I mean, that episode was at least more interesting, and by interesting, I mean annoying, so there's that. So on to episode four, which is titled The Truth About Tana and Jake's Marriage, because MTV is starting to get the hang of YouTuber clickbait titles. Look at that personal development and growth. Stop paralyzing your face when you imitate me! Stop getting Botox! <laughs> wow. Okay, so we've decided we're all getting Botox together. Big yeah. facts. Definitely. I actually need to get some more. Like, dude, look, I need to get... Look, dude, that, we're the same! I'm Here's a bunch of 20 to 21 year olds talking about getting Botox because LA is wild. By the way, full transparency, I am not against plastic surgery. I've had lip filler, but I'm also hella old and my, I'm hella old. Like the dichotomy of me saying that hella and old. I'm older, my face has fully stopped growing. So I think there's a difference between me getting a little bit of lip filler and people in their really early 20s getting preventative wrinkle injections. I'm talking about look at my board, finish. look at my board, watch. Damn. And I like need help planning my birthday party. Ew, that voice. Thank you. <laughs> and then they talk about doing Tana's house party. But like a big ass one and one with like clearance to literally do reckless ass so like Jake's house. <laughs> Jake would let me, but I don't think I should throw a party at his house. I think that establishes me too much as like his girl. Yeah. But then she went and got married to him. <laughs> married. People are so fucking complicated, man. Aliens would have a field day reviewing like this shit. Vegas was crazy, bro. You were drunk at my birthday. <laughs> but to be honest, you did seem super drunk. For Tana's first birthday party, we went to Las Vegas with all of her friends. Chaos ensued. <laughs> Then they show Jordan, the long-suffering manager, driving Tana to go see her near-naked billboard and it's revealed in a car conversation that she had her actual birthday in Las Vegas and MTV didn't bother to fucking film it. They've put in footage from her Instagram stories as opposed to actually filming her birthday. What is the title of this show? Tana marries Jake Paul or Tana turns 21. They didn't film her actual birthday. The audacity of these people. Honestly, the night of my birthday was amazing. I was having so much fun with all of my friends, raging in this club. And then Jake brings me on stage and gets on one knee and all of this craziness happens. Jake even proposed to Tana on her birthday because God forbid her birthday actually be about her and not him trying to grab attention in some way. And MTV couldn't even be bothered to film that. The entire point of this series just got negated within about 20 seconds. Is Natalie inside? Then there's some forced drama and you can tell because they've added some spooky music. Shane Dawson is quaking. Basically, Jake's team wants to postpone the wedding by about one month for some reason. I don't think it's ever actually revealed why. Maybe because they didn't film her actual birthday, MTV for shit, we need to pad this out somehow. Get them to postpone the wedding. Flights were booked, vendors were hired, hotels were booked. We had a car service when we were getting there. We literally just did a walkthrough three days ago. Why are we canceling? Right, Jordan's a few years older than me, I believe, and he seems like a reasonable adult, but I bet sometimes he must get up in the morning and look at himself in the mirror and think, question his life choices. Question that he's planning a fake wedding to promote a fake relationship between a fake couple so gullible children buy Janna merch. He must question it sometimes, there's gotta be a point. What is so important that you have to wake me up right now? When's the last time you spoke to Jake? 12 hours ago. Tana, there's so much foundation residue on that pillowcase that you could just press it against your face in the morning and be ready to start your day within five seconds. He actually yesterday asked me if I should move in, but I don't want to. 
Jordan's face is how we all feel collectively about this series. Fiance. Tana, Jake's here. I like how they put fiance in quotation marks. Hiding in plain sight. Hi. Hi. I missed you. I missed you too. A whole 12 hours. Wow. Tana then backs down and lets Jake postpone the wedding because why not? MTV probably told her to. Gave her a little nudge and a check. Yes. I think Jake just saw how much our engagement broke the internet. Did it? Did the internet really break? Because I was using Pornhub just fine that day. So this is 100% legal on paper. This wedding, yeah. We should make it seem like it is. Really? Yeah. Here you go, see, it's fake. It's fake. I know it's fake, you know it's fake, we all know it's fake. Like, let's make it seem legal. Come on, kids, grow up, 12 year olds, it's fake. Stop buying Jana merch. I mean, you can do what you want, actually, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what you do with your parents' credit cards. And that was the whole episode where absolutely nothing of value was said. The next episode is actually a little bit more interesting. I don't really ever see Jake and I like hating each other. Even if out of all of this, we ended up best friends or married for the rest of our lives or pregnant with nine kids, like whatever. Splits up two months later. Um, you worked out with Logan this morning? Yes, How and filmed videos. It was good. There's, there's, uh, Cole is going uh, Alyssa Violet on me. Cole is going Alyssa Violet on me. Hey, Jake, if everyone keeps having drama with you, then newsflash, maybe you're the problem. Tana has invited Cole, some of a YouTuber, to her birthday party and Jake wants her to uninvite him because he is the worst. Jake, that is, not Cole. Yo, so do you think Jake is gonna see this on your birthday? And then they all start bedazzling their vaginas. And by they, I mean Tana and Ashley, not Tana and Jake. Though that would have made the show a lot more interesting. I really don't know. I think everyone around me wants me to have birthday sex more than me. Then they keep the subplot going of Tana and Jake supposedly not having sex and I just would- I wish you would point out the moment where I'm supposed to care. I don't even care about my own sex life, why am I supposed to care about theirs or lack of supposedly? My 21st birthday. I need something to take shots in, something to breathe in, something to enter in, something to exit in, something to get uh, in, something to sneeze in. <laughs> so next they've rented a massive house for Tana to have her party in and she keeps talking about this being her last moments of sobriety whilst acting not very sober. She's not drunk, but she's not acting very sober. If you catch my drift. Tana, it takes one to know one. I'm on a carpet, these are paparazzi, this is a red carpet, those are people dancing, I'm drunk as <laughs> Let's <laughs> go! Mom. I mean, hop up in this rave, bro. Yeah, everyone is. Mom. I'm mic'd up and so drunk. <laughs> I don't know, she still seems a little bit too coherent to be drunk as shit. Before the party started, Jake asked Tana to uninvite Cole. And that decision was then placed in my hands. Cole's been somebody who's, who's shown nothing but respect to me and my team. And so I chose to roll the dice. Tana tells Jordan to uninvite Cole, but Jordan doesn't want to because Jordan is not Tana's bitch. Yo, Adam, Adam, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me like a, talk to me like a person, bro. Talk to me like a person. Them pupils though. Jake doesn't want to come, in more ways than one, because Cole is there. I promised Jake something would happen, and it needs to happen. Do you understand? I like how Tana's makeup is perfect, it looks so good. Apart from the bit where, like, the tip of her nose there is red, as if she keeps rubbing it or, or touching it in a certain way, I don't know, what for whatever reason. My manager, Jordan, needs to be the bad guy in any kind of situation, not me. And if Jordan can't step up to the plate and handle drama like that, it's honestly frustrating. Do it yourself. He's your manager, not your slave. No one would be able to pay me enough to deal with that bullshit. I hear that now Jake may be outside uh, of the house in a limo, waiting. This is obviously just for drama, and um, this is the worst 
timing for this. Congrats, dude. You live in LA where none of these people are actually real and everything is done for drama and views and clicks and views and money. We're going to change. So they go into the toilet, still mic'd up, and Tana drops her nice girl act. MTV have done her so dirty with the show. I will spend the rest of our totally really good to make it up to you. Cool. Anyway, Jake turns up and acts like a dick for a few minutes. What else is new? Are you talking to me like I wasn't 100% honest with you? Yes, you lied. I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. And your manager did. I have I... respect for him and you, quite frankly. This is probably like the top three most upsetting things that have ever happened to me in my life. And like my brother has f my girlfriend. That is the best thing I've ever heard. This is in my top three most upsetting things that have ever happened to me. And my brother once fucked my girlfriend. First of all, Alyssa Violet was never your girlfriend, so you can drop that and stop lying about it. Secondly, grow the fuck up. I said secondly, but I did hmm. So it's a fake relationship for a fake reality TV show, but where is the line drawn? How much of this is fake? Because it's a reality TV show, it's meant to be real. But if you're pretending to be a cunt and everyone else thinks it's real, everyone like under the age of 18 thinks it's real, then maybe you're just a bit of a cunt. Does that logic make any sense to anyone else? So, let me try to clarify that a little bit more. There is a really structured, see fake, reality TV show in England called Made in Chelsea, and it is totally my guilty pleasure. And there used to be this uh, man, character, persona on it, called Spencer Matthews, and he was like the perfect reality TV star villain. He did so well at playing the villain. Once he shagged, a random girl in his girlfriend's bed and then blamed his girlfriend and said, yeah, how can I respect you when you allow me to cheat on you? It was just the best of bad TV. But it's like, are you actually a bad person or are you pretending to be a bad person? In which case everyone thinks you're a knob. So maybe you just are a knob. Does that make sense to anyone? I just don't think playing a character really works when you're in a reality TV show. Tana. I did my best, and I'm sorry. Regardless of this fight, I really adore you, and I will spend a lot of time moving to you. Tana Mojo being a doormat for five minutes straight. But if you want to come, that'd be dope. He wants to go home on her birthday and take her away from her own party. How did you manage to make someone else's birthday and party all about you? Honestly, it's a skill. This is a talent. It's a mess. Like I, I wouldn't, I ideally wouldn't want anyone to know that we even remotely fought on like my 21st birthday party. Anyone can agree, like you're fighting with your significant other and it's like serious as Do you really want that like out to the world? She says whilst telling MTV where it's going to be viewed by millions. Sure. I like your change about Thank you. Go Tana. Go Tana. Go Tana. Who are those girls screaming go Tana? in her face while she's clearly annoyed slash upset about something. Episode six, we are almost done. We're in the home stretch. We're almost there. This episode is about Tana going to VidCon and it's also her being mean to her mad Jordan for 20 minutes straight. VidCon is literally in five days. Jordan puts together some questions for Tana to help her prep for the VidCon press. I mean, at the end of the day, no one's ever gonna be in my head. And then in reality, the only way you can ever really show people that you're sorry about something or you've changed from it or you've grown from it or whatever is by growing up and becoming a better person. Remember this bit about her growth. Hi, oh, see, we, we just started setting up in Tana's room. So your meet and greet is at 2.30. Okay, but like I need a few more minutes. But you like really want me to get up, huh? Hi, fiance. I just woke up. That's right, VidCon gave her a second chance and she couldn't be bothered to get up on time because she was clearly partying last night. That growth though. Um, I got you a present. <laughs> For the first time in six years. Well, yeah, and I want to be clear about it because- I already don't like your tone of voice, so you're doing that thing. <laughs> Jordan, hey, I got you a present, Tana. Oh my God, go away, I hate your tone of voice. Like, what do you get a girl who has everything? 
Is this the gift? Yeah. I don't like sausage and McMuffins. He bought her breakfast and she is mean about it. Poor Jordan. Hashtag save Jordan Warona. Let's get it trending. I'm gonna call the VidCon featured creator hotline. <laughs> Are you being serious? Yeah. That's ridiculous. And the fact that that's your only connection is honestly just- amazing. I mean, I'm gonna start with the hotline. So Jake wants to turn up at VidCon because this is Jake's MTV show, if you haven't noticed. And Jordan is trying to ask on behalf of Jake, if that's allowed, and Tana bitches at him for it because he's calling the corporate number. Oh, who fucking, who fucking knows? It is, um, it's like a 99.9% .9 no. <laughs> Why? Uh, he is banned. They said there's previous history, and then somebody overheard the phone call and like hopped on as well and was like, absolutely not. Like, no, do not do that. We're engaged. Like everything I do now, like could potentially involve him. So Jake is actually banned from VidCon and he's not allowed to go and yet Tana's pulling the hole, but we're engaged, we're a team card. Like, it's not real. Why are you trying to compromise your own career for a fake relationship? Then there's this brilliant scene and this entire series is worth it for Jordan's face in this single moment. Okay, we're asking and things are looking better and we're trying to figure out a way to do this. Tana, we are extremely late, so you need to- She looks like she can't breathe. What is that doing around her throat? Hashtag save Tana Mojo. Go in there and Jordan, like, we are not extremely we late. We are extremely late. Your meet and greet started 16 That's, minutes no, ago. No, I get it that you're trying to like over-dramatize it to like paint me in that narrative. I'm not trying like, to over-dramatize I don't want to have this conversation anymore. I'm not trying to over-dramatize anything. Anymore. I don't want to have this conversation anymore. All I'm saying is just walk I don't want to have this conversation anymore. Just walk I'm a reality star. Yeah, exactly. And this is my manager that can this is your manager who has saved your career a billion times and got you into VidCon. Stop being so spoiled. So what took forever for me to get here? Um, I was on time. No, you weren't. Wait, I swear. No, you weren't. But I'm really, I'm bad with timing too. We know. That girl ain't having any of it. I don't think it matters if Tana's a little bit late. Like her fans kind of expect that from her anyways. Like everyone knows she's going to be late. It's, it would be more weird if she was on time. It would be more weird if she actually respected her fans and her fans' time. You know, the people who enable her career and lifestyle, but tomato, tomato, I guess. I messaged you in 2015 being very suicidal and you messaged me back two times and you literally saved my life. And I just wanna let you know, I love you so much. I am so, so happy. I am so happy that you're here. I'm serious, I value you and you are so loved. And now you are so much stronger and smarter and wiser. I love you. I love you. The thing is, is Tana is actually genuinely good with her fans, you have to give her that when she can be bothered to show up in time, of course. So then they pull some strings and Jake is allowed to go into VidCon. Like I feel like the amount of growth that I was forced to go through, it was kind of like sink or swim, like grow the f up or shut the f up, you know? She's always talking about growth as if the act of just talking about it is what makes you grow up. That's not quite how that works. You look beautiful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. <laughs> now, and he's on crutches. Hi, fiance. Is it funny, a little bit awkward, how the crowd is going so nuts for Jake in comparison to how they were for Tana a few mi minutes ago? It's not really like necessary for Jake to show up and like take the stage and like ruin her moment. It's supposed to be about her and like VidCon. It's okay to talk about Jake, but do you have to like appear? Like, we get it. Imari being a good friend and saying what we all think. This next bit is the ultimate in class in front of a bunch of 14 year olds. Okay, so I, Wait. guys, I wrote Tana a poem. The day I met Tana, she ate my banana. <laughs> hey, it was- Two years later, we turned into Jana. Welcome to the Paul family. We welcome you with love. From the moment I met you, we fit like a glove. From Calabasas to Vegas to getting blacked out, it's about all of our moments and not just the clout. Logan and Bella can hate. Look. Look how unimpressed those adults are in that crowd. Imagine taking your daughter's, imagine your daughter's like, I want to go see my favorite YouTuber. No, no, she's totally, like, she's she's cool, she's fine, I, I want to go see her. And then, like, she's on stage being like, I'm getting dick tonight. Like, just imagine with those parents. The world can question our fate, but on July 28th, you can all save the date. <laughs> yeah. 
Mediocre, worse than Gabby Hanna's poetry. That's ridiculous. Wow, I can't wait to get after this. When Tan is referencing having sex with Jake tonight, I'm literally thinking in my head, yeah, you're probably gonna get but I know it's not gonna be from him. Killously perfect. Because you say that I'm never thoughtful. You're never thoughtful. And I was like, <laughs> what could I like... mean it? Jordan literally got you in to be a featured creator at VidCon, but sure, okay, go off. Something that was really impactful for me when I was a young child. And it's um it's just meaningful. I think it's cool. I just you open it. Yeah, I'm starting <laughs> to see it. <laughs> My kindergarten teacher, like she, like she loved this book. And at the end of the year, she could like give the book to one student and she gave it to me. That is so much cuter than Jake's poem about you sucking his dick. I love Jordan more than anyone on this earth. I think that's why when we fight, it hurts as much as it does. And it's as frustrating as it is because I literally feel like he is the most family I will ever, ever have on this planet. And as much as I hate to give it to him, he is my best friend, my right hand and my go-to. She says this about everyone though. She says that everyone is her best friend. The last episode finally, and it's almost 30 minutes long. Please end my suffering, someone please. God, strike me down. Tana is in Vegas and she admits she hasn't invited her hilarious and crazy dad to her own wedding because it's not real. Who's walking Tana down the aisle? Jordan. I was gonna say, because I know it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not her dad, that's for sure. Exactly. But it kind of is. Yeah, exactly, yeah. it kind of is her dad. But... Jordan's like her dad, yeah. Jordan literally wakes Tana up in the morning, is teaching her how to drive, and got her health insurance. He seems like a dad to me. Manager goes. I feel like it's um, like working. Because when they're together, it's like, it's like just, it flows so natural. Like everyone, like he laughs. And I feel like that's something she makes him do that like. Oh my God, they all say like so fucking much. Please stop, just stop. I know I do, but this this is too much. The whole world is wondering whether or not Tana and Jake's marriage is real. I actually like you, Ashley. I think you have lovely hair, even though you have the proclivity to say like far too much, but the entire world does not give a shit about Jake and Tana's fake relationship. I hardly doubt there are people under oppression in North Korea right now being all, yeah, the Kim dynasty sure sucks, but did you see how mean Jake was to Tana last week? Ugh. And me being her best friend in the entire world. Funny, I thought Jordan was Tana's best friend last week. Or Amari, or Hunter, or Bella, or Jake, or that random guy she got talking to at Taco Bell that one time two years ago. But the thought of what Jake and I have and what we make together is so magical that sometimes it's worth a little bit of stress. Yeah, Jake throwing a tantrum at Tana's birthday party whilst everyone was coked off of their fucking nuts really screams Disney to me. How did you know like he was the one? When she saw his bank account. But at the same time, I do think Jake has the one quality that I've never like seen in anyone else because I feel like he makes me like my best me. She says this, but her comment sections on her videos have been full of, we don't like the Tana and Jake stuff. We're bored of it. We want the old Tana content back. I've just become aware of the fact that I pronounce Tana really weirdly. Is it Tana or is it Tana? Tana Mojo. Tana, Tana. Why do I pronounce it Tana? Oh, I'm so fucking annoying. Tana, because it's Jana, not Jana. I look like, I've looked like a fucking idiot for the past however long this video is. Hashtag Jana forever. It lasted about two months. I think we have like 10 confirmed media outlets. It's like that big. But yeah, no, this the attention is insane. Like my entire time. Because people don't want to miss it. Because it's like, who does this? This is like a once in a lifetime thing too. It's not a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, big fake celebrity weddings were already a thing. Kim Kardashian got married for 72 days. So no wonder people in LA get so detached from reality when there are other people around them saying shit like this all the time. The whole world's watching. This is like a once in a lifetime experience event, whatever. This has never been done before. No wonder people's egos get inflated and way out of proportion. Well, I think um, what people are reacting to is that I actually care about her. So they probably see the fact that I really, really do um, want to protect her. And they probably see that as a sign of, of love and whatever. Jordan is too sweet for Tana. Stop my heart, stop it. Then Tana needs to write vows or something. I'm getting tired, can you tell? I'm getting tired and kind of hungry. Kind of uh, questioning myself right now. Why did I start doing this? 
looking up to like the Kardashians, they have like two, three, whatever, how many dresses for their weddings. Well, obviously, Tana has to do the same. Like you have to have your ceremony dress and your dress for press. Yeah, two dresses for a wedding, very relatable. What I've been watching for the past hour and a bit, almost two hours, has finally sunk in. The reality of it has finally sunk in. And all I can think is, what a strange fucking dimension we all live in. We are the universe manifesting itself subjectively. And, and this is the best we came up with. Put me back into the matrix, please. So we're like two minutes away from walking down the aisle and I get a text from a security guard who was at the party telling me that he heard uh, there was gonna be something planned at the altar, whether it be, you know, a fight or, or some sort of charade. To add to the surreality of what I'm currently feeling, there's a fake fight being planned at a fake wedding for a fake couple. What? Should we get married now? Not me, not me and you, but should you go get married now? Because we got to walk down the aisle like an hour ago. She's late to her own wedding. Maybe this isn't fake because you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Seeing how crowded it is in that little area is a little overwhelming. Oh, poorly organized. Is it getting flashbacks of Tanacon, are we? <laughs> Look how solemn Logan Paul looks. It's like he's about to film an apology video at any second now. We are gathered here today to join these two social media juggernauts and holy clout <laughs> Ramoni. Oh my God, I love how they got Billie Eilish to officiate their wedding ceremony though. We are the same person in opposite genders. Your beauty every single day amuses me from your outfits. <laughs> he's to, like Fashion Nova hashtag ad. <laughs> To the, them white teeth. <laughs> Tana does her vows and it's it's okay, I guess. And Jake does his and literally compliments her veneers. What the fuck is that? <laughs> and then someone throws a drink over them as they kiss, and Billie Eilish tries to start a fight with said person. Totally not staged though. Look at this exchange between Tana and Jake. The only thing that matters right now? Well, I'm like Look shaking, bro. I'm like shaking. The only thing that matters right now? I'm like shaking. Only... I love you. Look at this ring. I spent so much money. He talks like a child. I don't understand what women see in the famous millionaire Jake Paul. I don't get it. Why is your cheek red? I got popped. By who? I got popped in the fight. Wait, actually? <laughs> yeah. Like, did you go inside of that fight? No, I was just sitting on the outside. I was like, what is going on? And then someone was like, Pah! I don't know what happened, but a fight. I don't know who it was. I don't know what team it came from. I don't know who did that. I have no idea where it came from. Right, who the fuck hit Jordan? Because I will take the first flight to Las Vegas and that person can catch these fucking hands. Tana Mojo fairy tale ending in happy ever after. <laughs> like what? Happily ever after, but they didn't go home together that night and Jake may have had a threesome with two models instead on his wedding night. Marriage goals. The past year of my life has been the biggest roller coaster I've ever been on with the highest highs and the lowest lows. But the amount of growing up I have done in the last year is absolutely crazy. She keeps saying how much she's grown up as if none of us just watched the last seven episodes of this TV show. We did it, we got to the end. That's all the episodes and... <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, fine, all right, all right, I'll do it. So this is a holiday special. Can't wait. Totally don't want to just go to bed. Ho, ho, ho. They're all dressed up to do a Christmas card. It's very special, yada, yada, yada. I grew up in Vegas with two parents who were completely unfit to be parents. And it's like, I still in so many ways just want nothing to do with them. This is the setup for the entire episode. Tana's parents are bad parents and so she doesn't want to spend Christmas with them, but she might spend Christmas alone. Even though she has like a million friends who would be happy to take her on, but okay, whatever. So are you thinking that you're gonna spend Christmas at Jake's? 
You know, now that you're like married. It's, just, it's so scripted, it's so scripted. Yeah, it's like such a blessing having no family. <laughs> but you just said your friends were your family. Make your damn mind up. Today, our squad is doing a holiday photo shoot. Normally, people definitely do their holiday cards with their family, but this is my family and definitely the holiday card I want to be sending out. Jordan's on the phone to his sister, totally not staged, and Tana interrupts to say that she wants to spend Hanukkah with them and Jordan's face sums it all up. I know nothing about Hanukkah. Yo. I need you on your best behavior, seriously. As you opposed to what? I don't know, just don't embarrass You're me. You're like, don't exist, talk, breathe, blink. You're right. Hi, so good, how oh, are you? <laughs> Jordan's dad looks exactly like him. And I'm not the first person to mention or point that out, I know. I haven't slept in like years. 17 years. Years. Do you actually have like, don't can I like? Don't touch me. It's, okay, it's real crusty, keep it on. Keep oh, you, it can, on. you can do it. No, no, no you no, can get no, it then. You can get it. What is it? Hi. He has like crusted sleep, but he told me not to touch oh. him. She's wearing her sunglasses inside. Maybe to hide some sort of hangover slash come down. Who fucking knows? And she's got her hood up. I just, I don't know why this scene makes me cringe so much. Why is she like this? I know maybe you weren't brought up the best, but surely you would know that that's just impolite. It's so cringe to watch. I can't. Well, you did get guilt. I don't even know what guilt is. <laughs> that's guilt. Uh, okay, and what is it? What's the history? Who is she? So, guilt is a Yiddish word for money. Okay, wow, right. love that. Suddenly, that's Jordan, let's get this guilt. <laughs> Anytime she talks to his parents, it just makes me clench up a little bit. It's, just, it's weird. The Jewish people used to skate. <laughs> she looks like she's about to say, <laughs> anyone want some crack? I can't believe we're ice skating. I just saw this ice rink and like legit want to throw up. Why am I so defeated Look at by those things? things. Like this? Let's say I break my face. Let's say I literally have to go get like a rhinoplasty. Mm -hmm. And for the next like six weeks, like right, shows are canceled. Like, Come on. If, like why? I could cry. I'm so emotionally unhappy about this. She's such a dramatic child. Is this for show? Make it stop. Make it, please someone make this stop. One of the number one things we discussed for Tana not to do this weekend was to scream. She does this really high pitched screech that is the bane of my existence. All right, now stop being a child. Let's go. Take my arm. I think I'm gonna crawl. Oh my God. No, dude, it's really embarrassing. That's fine. I know this is all exaggerated for the cameras, but again, this is meant to be a reality TV show. So there are people that are gonna be watching this and thinking, wow, she's actually such a child. She's so childish which isn't a good look for anyone. That's not a win. Yeah, you're getting the views and the engagement from people commenting on being like, oh my God, she's so childish, like what a brat. But that's not a win for you ultimately, long term. Or maybe it is, I don't know. She's the one with like, you know, five million fucking followers and the MTV show, what do I know? Nothing. Oh, my knees are frozen and I can't even stand up. I'll stand I'm you so up. unhappy, get away from me. You are ruining Hanukkah for everyone. <laughs> Run. Oh my, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm really sorry to anybody here just trying to ice skate. I'm really sorry. Okay. Making... No, no, literally no. I can't, I just can't. Sit on it, sit on it. I got on my knees on it! Just stand on your feet on it. You guys should take the family lap and I'll take a cute little think, Verona video. I think that this is a big moment for you. So the thing about this show, right. I think I've worked it out. The thing about this show is when Tana is with her friends, they are all really extra and exaggerated so you become quite normalized and accustomed to it because everyone like all of her friends act like they're on crack um watch her do recreating james charles's pennywise makeup tutorial to see what i mean so you become accustomed to it and because of that i think her videos are quite fun to watch yeah but then when she's put in a situation where she's surrounded by normal people who aren't constantly drunk or stoned or high 24 7 then you really see oh no, she's so exaggerated and crazy and it's, it's kind of cringe. Family outings were always really for me growing up. I feel like my dad was really, really peak level embarrassing, whether he was like screaming at me or just cheap and rude. My mom would have never like gotten dressed, been ready at like a normal time and like gone ice skating. The lack of self-awareness is incredible. It's something my family would have never done. So I definitely do feel really uncomfortable in that regard. We get that you didn't have the best upbringing and I have full sympathy for that. But as you are an adult now, it is your responsibility to be in charge of your own mental health and your own life and get a therapist instead of, 
I don't know, getting an MTV show. That could be all of us out there, but instead you had a temper tantrum on the floor. By not skating, Tana is missing out on bonding with my family. And sometimes you gotta, you gotta put yourself out there and face the fear to get to the good things in life. I know this is probably all completely scripted, but I just find it really sad that she says she has no family and Jordan is there willing to be family to her, to invite her into his family, and she can't even be bothered to do a little bit of fucking ice skating with them. Just make a bit of effort. To see such a happy family. When you get sent out of the classroom and you look through the window to see your mates all having fun. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Hi. I wanted to show Hi. you a menorah. Yo, I've literally yes. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. Yo, that menorah is lit, fam. Like 156 BC, the Syrians took over Jerusalem. And there was this group and they revolted and they got the temple back. Okay. In a, in a synagogue, there is- There is nothing behind those eyes. She was at least pretending to be respectful and caring. And that's really all I can ask. Where? I do want so. you to go and no, find like the video so. interviews I did, the ones that I grid posted to be <laughs> in that thing. <laughs> When Tana starts talking to her, her phone at dinner, um, I'm thinking to myself that we might have missed Table Manners 101. So awkward. To me, the only person who really feels like family is Amari. He literally, in one person, is like the whole family I never had. So like, Jake as well. Why are they still trying to keep this charade going? I mean, come on guys, the Jake thing was like so last season. So we did it, we got through it. So guys, we did it. And my final thoughts on this entire debacle is Tana needs a therapist, I need to learn how to pronounce Tana properly, and I would watch an entire show of Jordan Morona trying to deal with his childish clients. Because I think he is a manager for Trisha Paytas as well. So the guy has seen some shit. That would have been a more interesting premise for this show actually. Jordan's too good for all of this bullshit, and Imari and Ashley are actually very good on this type of format. Not that MTV are gonna take on board any of my criticism, because why would they? They are the multi-million dollar company, and I'm just an idiot with a camera with no TV show. Anyway guys, that's all for this video, and that was a long one. Thank you so much for getting through it with me. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to like, comment, subscribe. Big thank you to NordVPN, do remember to check them out. Use code Elise for 70% off. The relevant information will be in the description box. And that's all for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.